When it comes to shotguns, the Strun is my go-to option, but why is that? Well, I enjoy how it sounds, how it feels, how it shoots, and just overall how the Incarnon feels when being used. So, when I compare it to other weapons like the Boar, the Kuva Heck, and other shotguns, I'd say it's a middle ground option. And its stats aren't bad at all. It's a primarily slash and impact based shotgun with a crit chance at 24% and 48 in its Incarnon form. It has a crit multiplier about 3.4 and in both forms and its status per pellet is 6.67 in the normal and 46% with the blast attack and its Incarnon. So we're going to cover the evolutions before we get into the builds and the evolutions are how I build my Strun Prime and there will be a comparison to the Strun Prime and the Strun Wraith in the corner. So you can see which one you think deserves the Incarnon adapter more than the other. So let's go ahead and cover those evolutions. So with the evolution one, it unlocks the Incarnon itself, but it also gives us a four meter primarily blast explosion out of the gun. Next up is evolution two. Evolution two gives us 10 of targeting and blazing barrel. 10 of targeting gives us an increase in damage by two. And when a channel ability is active, you'll get plus four punch through. Uh, blazing barrel will give you increase in damage by two as well. And plus 5% multi shot, which stacks five times. Now, when it comes to this one, the damage increase is per pellet, giving a total base damage increase on primary weapons of plus 24 for the prime specifically. And the multi shot bonus adds 0.25 pellets to the base multi shot on both forms. So when it comes to evolution two, I think this is a no brainer. You should pick perk two instead of perk one. Next up is evolution three. Evolution 3 gives you Rep Reinforcement, Galvanic Reload, and Swift Deliverance. Galvanic Re- uh, not Galvanic, sorry. Rapid Reinforcement will increase your reload speed in both forms by plus 60%. Galvanic Reload on hitting a target with Electric Stats will give you a 40% chance to return a round in magazine from your ammo pool. And then finally, Swift Deliverance will give you an increase in projectile speed by plus 30%. Galvanic Reload has a little special thing where the stats effect can originate from any source, but only applies once per enemy and the bonus does not affect the Incarnon form. So overall, I think Swift Deliverance or Rapid Reinforcement is the better option because they both affect uh, the Incarnon and non-Incarnon. Finally, with Evolution 4, we're given Elemental Balance, Commodore's Fortune, and Brutal Edge. Elemental Balance would give an increase in status chance by 11.3% and in the Incarnon form it increases by its base pellet count so the status chance is actually increasing by 136% when you're in the Incarnon. Commodore's Fortune will give you a flat 12% increase in uh, crit chance for both forms. And then Brutal Edge will give you a plus 4% increase in crit chance and status chance and then in the Incarnon form it's a plus 48%. So when it comes to Evolution 4, it's very dependent on how you build. If you're going primarily status, go with Elemental Balance. If you're going primarily crit, go Commodore's Fortune. If your build is a mixture, go for Brutal's Edge. So, I went ahead and made two builds for us today. One build is for uh, armor stripping, causing uh, heat damage afterwards, and critting. The next one is for Corpus, which involves toxins, stuff like that. So. We'll cover those, test them, and then go to Steel Path. So let's go ahead and cover the first build. The first build is Curse of Heat and Crit build running Primary Merciless. You could do Cold, but I still prefer running Primary Merciless. So there is a Riven. Easily replace this with Prime Point Blank. You'll have a little bit less damage, but it does basically what my Riven does. We're running Heat, Corrosive, Accelerated Blast for the Fire Rate because we are running Critical Deceleration and Galvanized Cell for the stacking mod. So how does it fare against... Uh, Corrupted enemies. Well, one shot, one shot, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Not bad. Blazing Barrel is max, and sadly, when you reload, it goes away. What about the Incarnon? How does it work? Well, one tap, couple taps. Basically, you just spam this thing because Blazing Barrel can't run out, so you just keep going. Let Galvanized Hell stack, let Blazing Barrel keep going. You have no issues. So, what about Murmur? Because Murmur is what most people are fighting right now. When it comes to the Murmur, well, Kind of bullies everything. What about non incarnon Well, same thing. Has no issues. Hell, even a red crit there. But obviously, we have another build. So say you're going against the Corpus. How are you going to handle them? Let's go ahead and cover that right now. So like I just said a second ago, what if you are fighting the Corpus? Well, go for pure toxin. Go crazy. You don't even need magnetic. So with this one, once again, replace with Prime Point Blank, Galvanized Cell, Prime Rampage, uh, Ravage, we're using Critical Acceleration, Accelerated Blast for the Fire 8. I decided to slap on Atomic Fallout, but you can basically put on whatever mod you want here. You could run uh, Hunter Munitions, anything with 9, 7, however much you need. 
pop a Nova form on. It's all dependent on how you want to build your weapon. This is how I build mine. So how does it fare against, well, the Corpus? One shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. This is basically what's going to happen in all Corpus missions with this shotgun. It's just going to slaughter with absolute ease. But obviously, with that being such a short one, I'll go ahead and show off what happens when you use this weapon with Mirage. So, like I said, I went and put on Mirage. So we pop all the mirrors, hold our Eclipse button. How does it fare now against, well, Corrupt Sensor using your headshots on? Well, that's a one shot, one shot, one shot, one. That was also a one, one shot. What about the Incarnon? How busted is this now? Well, Rain Hell Fire from above is all I say does quite well and obviously if you want you can run a viral slash build here it'll work obviously so i'm gonna go ahead and get my build set up and i'll see y'all in steel path so overall i kind of just started literally a bit ago and i really haven't had any issues killing anything the weapon overall does fine i probably just should not have brought mirage because she's not one of my most survivable frames i probably should have brought like protea corvax someone like that but the drone overall is doing quite fine, no real problems even without the uh, buffs from playing Mirage obviously using my one of Hollow Mirrors, my Eclipse, stuff like that. But overall the gun still, oh, the gun still feels quite alright, does its job as a shotgun as it is killing perfectly fine. And the Incarnon just adds that extra benefit of, well, it's just a nice ranged explosive that basically does not need me to aim, I just have to roughly shoot in the local gen, uh, general vicinity of the area and I should get a kill with it. But obviously these are just no ads, so I'm going to come back whenever I eventually get a Acolyte spawn. All right, our first Acolyte for the five minute time is going to be here. We're getting angst. So let's see how angst handles. Well, where are they? Oh, there they are. Well, let's see. Well, damn, uh, that was two taps. It could have just been one tap if I let the damage go over. So uh, we're just going to do that. And obviously that was just five minutes. I'm going to let them obviously get a little harder. I'll go to 10 minutes and we'll see how that one fares against the, uh, the strun. And well, it appears the 10 minute acolyte is here a little bit ahead of schedule. Ah, we're getting malice. Let me clear out some of these ads real fast. So how is malice going to handle dealing with the strun? Well, damn. Okay. Well, they hit me with mags polarized, but as you saw, we won the fight in the end. So that does not matter. I will give my final thoughts of the Strun in my Orbiter. So I will see y'all in my Orbiter. So here we are back in the Orbiter. Other than like the three deaths I had because I, I brought a Mirage that is not built for survivability, sadly. How do I think of the weapon? Well, it performs quite well, hits real hard, does what I'm after. And as long as I'm not stupid and get myself killed, it follows every requirement I ever would want. Things I would change about it, though, when it comes to the builds, if you want, when it comes to a corrosive build, if you're going to run corrosive, you can also run primary frostbite, but I like merciless for the reload speed, but if you want, you can run primary frostbite, or you could also run uh, uh, shotgun vendetta for the shotgun kill at a certain range, and when it comes to the corpus build, you can easily run primary uh, blight, if you actually have it maxed, it'll do quite well. Once again, though, you want to have the reload speed, but when it comes to running stuff like a viral build, uh, you could easily just use Chilling Reload for the extra reload speed or swap off uh, Swift Deliverance for the reload option and that would change and fix what you need instantly. Now, again, these builds are how I play. They fit me quite well. That's why you didn't see Shotgun Savvy or whatever it's called. I don't really need it. I have enough status in both forms that I don't struggle to kill something. But obviously, build how you see fit. Use this as a guide to understand how you want to build a weapon and how it works overall. But if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and do subscribe. It does, I do appreciate it. And it tells me that y'all want to see more stuff like this and comment weapons you want to see in the comment section. Put your critiques in there. Give me ideas that y'all like using, stuff like that. Cause I still have weapons in here I have to use. Still have uh, videos I have to cover, stuff like that. So I'll see you guys in the next video because we'll be covering a special little boy right here. Just as a sneak peek. See y'all in the next one.